In this video, we're going to discuss the differences between a regular conventional parking and an LED parking. The million dollar question that everybody's asking is, how is my output compared on a PAR64 LED to a PAR64 parking? Unfortunately, right now, there's no compatibility between the two. Definitely a PAR64 with a 500 watts or a 1000 watts will be much more powerful from an LED parking. But the LED parking can be a very, very good solution for many applications. DJs that are going on the road and need something portable, reliable, and achieve colors without a lot of an expense. Uh, and most of them even have problems with electric. Uh, small clubs, small theaters, uh, small low ceiling places where they need a light that will achieve colors without consuming that much electric, an LED parking is an amazing solution. Keep in mind in LED parking, it's a much smaller unit, lighter unit in most of the cases than a PAR64 with a 1000 watts lamp. Uh, it's able to achieve any color you want. It's a fully DMX, you just have to connect it to a DMX and you have control over it. No need to control it or plug it into a dimmer pack. Uh, electric, as we mentioned, definitely consume much, much less electric. Produce less heat, able to achieve any color. In parkings, usually, you have a lamp to deal with, you have a socket, you have wires that you melt after time, you need a dimmer pack for it because it's not a DMX unit. You very bulky, very heavy, consume a lot of electric, depends on your wattage of the lamp, if it's a 500 or a 1000. So you are dealing with a lot of problem, and especially in small to medium application where a PAR64 LED can do the job very, very efficiently. So this is the key points that I would discuss and mention when I'm going to a parking LED or a parking 64. Uh, again, as I said, you are able to control the unit directly from DMX. That is a very, very big advantage, and of course, heat and electric consumption.